Namaste, gods, goddesses, and emissaries of light. This is Dr. Shreya Tayen. If you are new to my channel, please hit the like to subscribe and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and my current videos. All right, you guys, I have a brand new contest that I am rolling out today. And it is the shift has hit the fan contest. What I need you to do in order to participate, please pay attention. I need you to comment, the shift has hit the fan every single day, this day going forward until the 25th. Put it in your comment section. You have to put that there. That is a part of the contest. You could comment and say anything else other than that, but that is mandatory daily this day going forward until the 25th and I will give you an opportunity to win one out of five things that I am giving away for free and they are valued at a really good value. I am going to give away one twin flame oracle reading which is at the value of $125. Oh yeah baby. Let me tell you for those of you that do do not know what that is or have not had one. It is the reading of all readings. It tells you why you and your twin flame incarnated, who you were to each other in past lives, what karma you brought in that you have to deal with, what you need to heal in order to get 3D union, what you trigger in one another, and what your mission is and why you came to the earth. And plus you will get a chance to, to hear from not only your higher self, but from your divine counterparts, higher self as well. And I have a specialized channel message from Source Energy that is on those readings. Let me tell you, I just did a reading from me and my twin about three days ago, and it really revived me and brought hope back into my life because I know that God is not a man and he should tell lies. And I know the cards, the cards don't lie. They always tell the truth. So Regardless of what you see on the physical manifestation, just know that that is one of the top of the line readings that you can ever get with me. All right, second thing that I am giving away, oh yeah, baby, I am going to give away one of my Rainbow Ray Oracle decks and I will ship that bad boy to you for the free. Yes, I am going to give away that brand new, highly sacred geometry activated with light codes card oracle deck away to the second renter. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Third winner will get a karmic flush. The fourth winner will get the Violet Karma Clearing. And the fifth person will win an Archangel Michael Attunement. No specific order, you guys, by the way. Those are just the five things that I'm giving away. Once the 25th comes, I'll pull the five people who have commented in addition to Please pay attention. You can't just say the shift has hit the fan and then you just leave the, 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 the post. No. You have to post that. And in addition to, you have to comment. So you have to do two things. Please pay attention. You have to post the shift has hit the fan. And then you have to comment. And it doesn't matter if you comment and then you post, oh, yeah, I forgot. I got to put, you know, the shift has hit the fan. It doesn't matter in what particular order, just long as it's done on the day of the video. Okay, or, you know, the next day when you come to the video, that's fine. Okay, but the point is it has to be done every single day from now to the 25th. And I am so excited, baby. I am so, so, so thrilled. <laughs> the love that I have for you guys is just unreal. Um, 
when you live in 5D and above, it's really easy to love all those that your soul resonates with and you find that are your kindred spirits. And you can just, the moment, the instant that you find each other, you can tell each other you love one another. I know I tell my clients all the time that I love them, not because I want your money. I have I have clients that have given me money before I've met you. It's because I really do. And it's from the heart. And a lot of you that live from the heart can feel that and sense that. And, you know, I love that about you guys. I love that Source Energy have brought you to me and me to you. And we are here for each other. But without further ado, let me go ahead and get into this beautiful ass reading. Let me go ahead and call in some help. I call in all six elements. I call in air, fire, water, earth, spirit, and ether. And I also call upon the highest of the highest of the high, which is yad heh who will be able to give me the information that is necessary for this beautiful reading in all directions, time and space, past, present, and future. And so it is. All right. This is a reading for the Divine Fem. Baby, baby, baby. If there is anyone that understands overstands what you're dealing with with your twin flame at this now moment it is me this divine feminine is dealing with her divine counterpart who has had an issue with unconditional love and receiving it both giving and receiving unconditional love has always played a major part of this person's many hangups. You see, this divine feminine I am seeing has given so much of herself to this person to where she feels like she's becoming inadequate. It reminds me of that song that Beyonce says, what is it about me that is not to love? You see. This woman is amazing. This divine feminine is just pure love personified. You have leading the princess of swords, which lets me know that this person is moving into a place where she is now weeping the benefits of the fruits of her labor, her hard work. And she's moving into a higher conscious awareness of who she is and what roles that she has played on the mental screen of her mind in this relationship and in reality. I feel like the divine masculine, or let's just say the masculine that she has been dealing with has let her down. Not once, not twice, not even thrice, okay? But many times. I even hear this divine masculine telling her that she's fake, that she's phony, that her love isn't real because she must want something to love him this way. This divine masculine is a real piece of work. I feel like his ass wouldn't even know what true love was if it was staring him in the face. If it was a snake staring him in the face, it would bite him before he really grasped the reality of the gravity of the love that this divine feminine not only has given him, but has shared and it has shown him. I feel that this divine feminine felt like if I just overcompensate for what he's not doing then eventually he'll catch on he'll know how to love me because for me showing him how to love it will quicken the love in him it will make him chase after me it will make him want me just as much as i want him there will be reciprocity there will be an equal give and take sadly 
hasn't manifested yet. And it doesn't mean that it's not. But on the physical plane, I feel like this divine feminine have not felt that. You see. But she's in her glory. There she is. She has that sword. She knows how to use it. She knows how to feed, as you were, this divine masculine through what is called a long handled spoon now. Because she used to feed him out the bareness of her hands. And of course, you know that old saying, don't bite the ones that feed you. Well, he bit her more than she can count, more than she cares to remember. So now she has the sword. Once bitten, twice shy, you see. She's no longer going to put herself in a situation to where she's going to be hurt by love. You can't be hurt by the very thing that is supposed to heal. It's like you're trying to, Divine Masculine, kill her soul through your inadequacy of knowing the attainment and the gravity of true love. And now with this sword, she has put a bubble around herself to protect herself, even from you. Next, you have the nine of swords. If you notice, that's in reverse. Okay. She was in a living nightmare. I feel like if there was anything that could be brought into existence that was the worst thing that could happen in the relationship, I believe that this divine feminine have manifested them all. She has died a thousand deaths trying to just give you one lifetime of love. I believe her worst fears have come true with you. Okay? She has managed to manifest all of she have doubted, all that she has worried about by constantly thinking about the worst case scenarios, creating anxieties and stresses for no reasons, making a mountain out of the molehill, which perpetrates her despair and fuels her melancholy. The fear and the doubt has paralyzed her from moving forward. With all of these endless what if scenarios, what if, you know, we, I, I wouldn't have said that to him. What if when he said that to me, if I just would have shut up, maybe, just maybe he would have stayed. And so she is playing out all of these worst case scenarios over and over in her head. And even if she would have, could have, should have, I believe that with this divine masculine and his own arrogance and pride, he still would have ghosted her. He still would have left at her because I feel like he had his own agenda from the beginning. These thoughts used to cripple her. But now with this being in reverse, it's time for you, Divine Femme, to celebrate your wins and breathe and all of your blessings and take ease in your anxieties, remembering that all is surely not lost. Now you are in this state with this reverse nine of swords of conscious awareness of negative thoughts and patterns that has given you the superpower of managing your thoughts and your emotions. Through your experiences, you have come to realize that everything will ultimately be okay. Anxiety will arise from time to time and you're okay with that. You certainly will face stressful situations and times, especially when it comes to the matters of the heart. But now you have the tools to deal with them. It is easy to now let your thoughts have control and order instead of letting them run wild and causing you more anxiety and worry unnecessarily. You are in a phase where you're separating yourself from your thoughts and it is a very healthy place to be. You've learned to let go of your ego and a need to control this situation because now in this place of living 5D and above, you're given the freedom to let go 
and just be as who you are. You can just be filling the spectrum of emotions and letting them rise as they come and fall as they may. That's the difference of where you are now. And how you got where you are is preparing you for where you need to go. You have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is not about being about self, all about self in this deck. It means to share your cup with those that are around you. And I feel that you are attracting so many people to you. Even your exes are coming back and they're wanting to be in your vibration because your vibration resonance is so high that you are so magnetic that people are giving you things and you just don't know why. You don't completely know why people are so attracted to you and why they gravitate to you. Case in point, I had a situation today. I went to go get a vegan meal. My very first time eating um, at this place and um, they allow you to sample there. And I took a sample and I told them that I wanted to go ahead and go with the spinach at a fay. Okay. It's a Creole place. And so they gave me you know, the Creole uh, at a fay and you can do a full order or a half order. So I told them that I wanted to do half the at a fay and I also like the white chili, the vegan chili. So they misheard me and the guy was like, well, just give her the order. The order was like supposed to be $10. He was like, give her the order for $5. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. So unbeknownst to myself, they gave me two full orders of what I asked for and I was supposed to pay for the other one. And when she gave me the order, she rung it up more than what it was supposed to be. And I was like, oh, I thought it was $5. And the guy was like, hey, don't even worry about it. You can have it. And I'm like, okay. And I had to pick up some documents like right across the street. So I went to Staples, which is our document center, business center. And um, anyway, long story short, I picked up the documents. And so I had to wait a little bit and I didn't put up a fuss. And so when the guy finally came to meet me, he said, you can have it. You don't have to pay for the documents. We won't charge your business for it. Have a nice day. That goes to show you when you're living in 5D and above, you become magnetic. People are so hypnotized to you. They don't even know what it is about you, but they're drawn to you and they're drawn to do things for you. That is how this divine feminine is. She is totally in her vibration that not only is she going to get one love offering, okay? I feel like there's going to be many cups that are being offered to her. And this divine feminine, she knows exactly what I'm speaking about because she has so many people that she's even having, having to turn these people down because it's too overwhelming she went from this place of nine of swords energy in the upright position to nine of swords that is in the reverse to now she is in her true authentic power she's giving her own self-love she is loving thyself you see and that is attractive a lot of people are attracted to her energy because now She is truly in her empress power. You see, the empress is both the priestess, the high priestess, of course, and the empress where, you know, the high priestess is really good with thinking and emotions um, and directing them. And so with the high priest, excuse me, with the empress, she's now good at thinking and filtering through her heart with her emotional state of being too, you see. She is the whole gambit. She's every man's dream come true. And she knows it. Now with the justice in reverse, she is now in a position to where she is taking her power back. She has been put in a situation where she is weeping her karma. Yes, the karma that is coming in is both good and bad. You you weep what you sow. 
You can't avoid it. It's unavoidable. It's unescapable. But I feel like she's at a point where she's not trying to use anything as an escape goat. She is taking 110% responsibility for the role that she played. Even in this relationship, even when she was having sex with this divine counterpart, this divine counterpart is what most Indian people term or most Southern people say has the white liver disease. He was very highly sexually charged. Mm -hmm. Sex was an appetite for him. He had it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And snacks. And midnight snack. This man was highly sexed. And so what got him about her is that she was able to keep up with him. Most partners that this man has dealt with was not able to keep up with him sexually. And so this is the cause of his many partners or his polymory lifestyle, you see, where he had to have a different woman every day of the week because he was a freak. This guy... Accused her of being fake because she was able to keep up with him. Yeah, sure. You want it twice a day? Fine. I give it to you. You want it three times a day? You got it. Hmm, you want you want to go for a fifth round? I'm ready to go. And he looked at her like she was freaking crazy. Like, really? You got to be kidding me. Because, because he never met his equal before. He never even imagined that there would be a woman that would be on his same level sexually. And so when he met someone that was not only on his sexual, but on his level sexually, but she could handle him and the quantity, not dismissing the quality was also good. It scared him. It was too intense for him. He wanted to be with a woman that could say mercy and call uncle and give out gives. I give up. I can't take it anymore. He never heard it from this person, which scared the hell out of him because that was his weapon. This divine masculine used sex as a weapon against not only the divine feminine, which he couldn't because she's in her own power. She harnesses the energy of a goddess. So therefore he can never overtake her. How can you overtake yourself? He can't. You see. So with that being said, he ran, he ran away because he felt like she would kill him before his time. And listen to me when I say this, when a man gives away his sexual force and his sexual energy, it takes his life force away. That's the reason why men are supposed to do sperm purification and preservation. I know all about this from Karma Sutra. You see me and my husband, me and my twin, <laughs> Cancel, cancel. Me and my twin, we used to do this a lot, okay? So it's very vital for the man to keep his life force and not to ejaculate. You can have an orgasm without ejaculation, by the way. So anyway, he never could retain it. With this woman, he would always ejaculate. He felt like he was giving away his power. You guys, I'm very serious about this channeling and who I'm channeling for. I can't make this stuff up. This man hated the fact that she was able to weaken him. Even after they had intercourse, he would be sleepy. Because that's how much life force that he felt. Because unbeknownst to his own self and in his own ignorance, he didn't realize that the divine feminine was healing him. And every time that he would feel sleepy after they had intercourse, it is because she was rejuvenating and replenishing his body and healing his aura. But for those that are in the dark and love to stay in the dark and choose to stay in the dark, I feel like that's where he wanted to be. This divine feminine is very inquisitive, very intuitive. And I feel like she has the gift of gab. And so does her divine counterpart. But when she would communicate in such a way to delve a little bit deeper into some of their 
issues and problems that they were having. That also pushed him away because he didn't like conflict, conflict resolution. See, he loved, he thrived off of drama because that's the way he was raised. Ghetto. Serious. And in some countries, they wouldn't call it ghetto. They would call it hood or village. That's the way he was raised, in a village, in a hood, or the ghetto. And so to meet a woman with so much class, what the hell was he going to do with all of that? He didn't even know what to do with it, so he abused it, you see. Hurt people hurt people. And he was going around and telling his friends and family that she was fake and she was phony, she's not real. He don't know what the hell she want from him because... It must be something because nobody's that nice. Well, newsflash, Divine Masculine, you never had a real thing. So how would you know what anything looks like? Because all of the people that you smile in their faces that are women, that are your subjects, or let me say your victims, none of them, not even if you added all of them together, can eat of this Divine Feminine. This divine feminine that I am channeling for, phenomenal woman. And I feel like you took her for granted. And now that you're in this place of feeling disadvantaged, she's in a place of balance. She has learned to balance her energy within. So her outer world could be zen and beautiful. Look at this card. I can't make this stuff up. She's doing mantras and yoga and spiritual prayer, prayer affirmations. And she's manifesting a beautiful life for herself. And you didn't even think that she could even live without you. Not only has she proven and shown that she can live without you, she's also shown you that she never needed you. And that's another reason why you ran away is because you felt infeminate. You felt like you were not a man because she was too much woman for you. She had very masculine qualities. I feel like this is a disadvantage for a lot of us divine feminines is because we are balancing both the masculine and the feminine that when a masculine comes along that still needs to balance out his femininity he feels threatened. That's the issue. It's pride and it's your ego, divine masculine, because you can't control this person. This woman, this divine feminine is not your possession. She's not your object. She's a free moral agent, just like you. And both of you are on the same wavelength when it comes to equality. You see. And so she's balancing her equality. She's balancing her mental, her spiritual, her physical, and emotional. And that is one thing that scared divine masculine away. Now we have the strength card. We have the strength in reverse and I'm sensing this is Leo energy. There's definitely fire in your divine masculine's chart. If he's not Leo, he definitely has it in his chart, a whole lot of it. And you may have it in your chart because this is actually your card, divine femme. Okay. I'm sensing for you that you have stepped into this place where with the justice card here, it's letting me know that you have played the victim in this situation. You feel like it has been unfair that this situation is happening to you. And that's the reason why this justice card is in reverse. You feel like Everyone else is achieving and receiving union, but you, and I, I feel you wholeheartedly. You have invested more than money. You have invested more than time. You have invested your air that you breathe, your lungs, your kidneys, your adrenals your liver, your gallbladder, and your damn kidneys 
in this relationship. You have sacrificed so much for this person, only for them to give everything that you gave them away to someone else. And the crazy thing about it is that you've been waiting for them to wake up to who you are. Because you don't want to walk away from everything that you have invested. In your mind, you're like, fuck the money. I don't want that shit. I want to be able to bear the fruits of my labor in this relationship. Everything that I put in, I want that shit. Don't even have to give it back to me. Double. You don't even have to match it. Just give me something. Something is better than nothing. But you're in this place of cynicism. You're in this pessimistic um, state of being. I feel like we all heard in the Bible about the doubt in Thomas. I feel like you're doubting Thomasima, okay? You're doubting source energy if this will turn around for you. You're doubting if you can really manifest this love. And I am here to tell you that you did not come this far to turn back now. I pulled some clarifiers for you. This is from my deck. This is Esu Jesus Sananda. It's from the second ray. If you look at him real closely, you will see. I got a manicure today, today, you guys. I'm so excited. And I got my feet done too. Sorry, just had to mention it. <sighs> Sananda is here because you are awakening. And he's come to help thin the veil for you. The reason why you have come as far as you have is because you've had an ascended master from the other side, helping you through Christ consciousness. Remember, for those of you that were on my reading for the 15th, today's the 17th, that was two days ago. I told you that I was going to reveal the card to you in time and that source will reveal the name, the ascended name of Jesus, which you guys call Jesus. I've always called him Jesus for the longest um, because religious religious teaching. I was in a Spanish congregation. And so therefore I used to always call Jesus, Jesus Christos. Okay. Never called him Jesus for the longest, but anyway, you do have this Jesus Sananda. Call him Sananda for short, if you would like to, because this is Jesus Christos ascended name. Do not take it lightly that Sananda is here. Sananda is very powerful. Sananda is the reason why you are awakened. And you will continue to awaken when you're under the care of him. For those of you that believe in Jesus Christ, it's the same energy. For those of you that believe in Buddha, it's the same energy. For those of you that are Indian and you're chiming in, it's Krishna. It's the same consciousness, you guys. But for what it's worth. Just know that your help is now. You don't have to doubt anymore. You don't have to worry about when things are going to manifest because this is on divine timing. You can't force it and you can't speed it up. And you sure in the hell can't slow it down. The only thing that you can do at this moment is just go with the flow. My last clarification clarifier is sacred rose it's amazing the places i choose to grow when you look back on where it all started and where you are now i promise you that when you gauge your steps you will look back and you will see how far you have come. And oh baby, you have been through hell and high water to be where you are now. My personal message to you is pull it together. 
because you are the rose that grew in the concrete. They threw you away because they said you were just a seed. And without water and sunshine and light and proper growth or proper environment, you would not grow. But boy, they didn't know who you belonged to. Because you are that rose that grew. Despite your environment, despite the lack of love that you were denied from the very person that should have gave you all the love in the world, which is your divine counterpart. Their inability to not love you, don't take it personal. It is because it is their own inability to love themselves. You see, when a divine masculine casts aside his divine feminine, it is because there are parts of him that he has not come to reality with. This message is for you, Divine Feminine. The one today that out of all days, you don't know why in the hell today was the worst day in the whole wide world for you. But I'm here to tell you it's because of that damn full moon that's coming in tomorrow. And you are being affected by the waxing and the waning of this moon that is coming in with these emotional tides that are occurring in your life. So this reading was for you. My advice before I leave, do not make a mountain out of a molehill. Your situation is the reason why it is the way that it is for divine purposes. Divine masculine, homeboy got a lot of healing he got to do. I'm here to tell you. When you have a situation where you have the best, which God sent his very best when he sent you. Then you have someone who don't even feel like they're the best. But they are the best, but they don't realize that they're the best. That makes them a whole mess. I'm serious. When other people see the good in you. And when someone who loves you sees the good in you. But you don't know why. You can't comprehend why this person sees that in you but you believe other people that tell you but you don't believe the one that loves you that's because you don't love yourself you're dealing with the divine masculine who don't love himself because if he did he wouldn't put you in a situation to where someone else can come along and take you away you will become his prized possession you will become the apple of his eyes and he will not take his gaze off of you because that's just how much you mean to him you see he will become a protector for you a man that truly loves you is your protector you know here's the funny thing my soulmate is my best friend he is my children's father but i tell you what the only thing that is preventing me and him from going forward is the love, the undying love that I have for my twin. That is the only thing that's getting in the way because when it comes to protection, he will snatch someone's face off for me. And it's so cute because he has this name that he calls me. He calls me Mama Bear. I have all seven of his children. And it's so funny. When I'm flustered or frustrated, he'll be like, what's wrong, Mama Bear? It just goes to show you the gravity of love that someone has for you. And you don't have to. I am living proof. The divine masculine ass is just greedy. You don't, just because somebody say they love you don't mean that you got to stick your, you know, penis in her vagina. Okay? Because me and my soulmate, we love each other. We care about each other. I don't want anything to happen to him. Of course, he doesn't want anything to come my way to harm me. And the feeling is mutual. But we're not bumping and grinding. Okay? You don't have to have sex just because you live with someone that's of the opposite sex. We are co-parenting. And we are doing a very good job on a daily basis. And I would not change it. I don't even know how I would be able to get these readings out and do anything that I am doing right now without him. And I thank God. That God brought him into my life. My twin didn't care about any of that. He left me for dead. And so divine feminine, I am here to tell you, raise your head erect. 
because God will always give you the very thing that you need. You see, what we think we may need at the time may not be what's good for us. All right, I have come to the conclusion of your beautiful reading. It is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe, or leave a love donation if you feel inclined to. I will not be doing an extended version because I have already went over on my time and I have given you so much. What else needs to be said at this point? But I will do the $5.55 that I'm honoring until the 25th. You can ask me one question for $5.55 and I will answer it in a three card spread. And that is my gift as well from me to you. I now wrap you in my love and I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. Namaste, everyone.